Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. I feel like most of us can agree that footies this year just hasn't been good enough. From footies being in packs, that was unexpected, to team of the season cards still not being in packs. For the best of re-releases, there's a couple of big reasons why our favorite endgame promo just isn't hitting the same. So we need to have a conversation today and talk about it a little bit and look forward to how EA can potentially make it a little bit better with footies content today on Sunday. So if you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if if you are new, let's look at yesterday's content as we always do to start things off and then we'll get into the conversations. But first of all, a Joe Cole SBC dropping yesterday. I mean, that was expected, right? A hero SBC dropping on the last couple of footies of Saturdays has been the common theme. And guys, I'm going to say this right now. This Joe Cole is kind of like the budget Ronaldinho. If you look at the stats, they're decently comparable. I know Joe Cole's not five star, five star, but he's five star, four star. And he's basically just like the budget Dino, right? He can play on the right, on the left, and at center attacking mid. He's got great stats all around, great dribbling stats for sure. And Joe Cole earlier on this year, um, some of his other cards have really, really been pretty overpowered at different stages of the game. I have to imagine that this version is going to be pretty good as well. And it's only 360,000 coins, which you might be like, Nate, isn't that kind of expensive? Again, the way that I look at it is, if this card was on the market, he would probably be a little bit more than this, or at least right around around this price point for the stats that his card has and for the link ability that he has, right? Premier League card, of course, uh, with the links, the English links as well. Man, that's a really, really solid card. I would say if you're not doing Ronaldinho, at least consider doing this Joe Cole card because he is probably going to be really, really good in this game. And uh, yeah, it's only three squads, which seems really easy to do with the batch two that is in packs right now. Seems like opening player picks and packs, these special cards, since there's 150 specials in packs, like we mentioned in yesterday's video, there's a really good chance of you hitting a special card. And of course, that just means higher rated fodder to go in to put into an 86, 88, or an 89 rated squad for Joe Cole. So I'm not going to gas up the SBC too much because, yeah, I know there's a lot of great players that have been released during footies, but that one right there for me is a budget Dino option. Don't overlook that one. If you're like, I can't do Dino, but maybe you can craft something along those lines during this next week, that might be a good SBC for you. Now, speaking of another SBC to craft, but for different reasons, this one being if you want to take a little bit of a chance, have a gamble, have some fun in August, you've got a really cheap 90 plus icon player pick 81, 84, 86 rated squads. You do have to have a team of the week player in here, um, but those are some really low rated squads. And that shows with the overall price 150 K for an icon player pick. It is only a one of three, I believe. Yeah, it's a one of three, but it's full birthday trophy Titans team of the year and shapeshifter. So you might be lucky enough to do a one of three player pick like this and hit a shapeshifter icon. That's really OP. Um, like Thierry Henry or something along maybe Pelé if you're insanely lucky. So, I mean, to me, this SBC looks cheap and I have nothing against it, but I just really don't have any motivation to do this SBC, guys. Maybe it's because Dino is out right now, and a lot of people are trying to craft that. It just seems like if I'm going to start doing this Dino, all of my focus is going to go onto this and like the 85 times 10s and ways to get fodder to craft that one. Uh, so for me, this one, I don't know. Maybe it's just because we've had 90 plus icon player picks for a while. Maybe it's just because. I've seen the cover star icons like Ronaldinho and Roberto Carlos and know that they are even miles clear of basically all the icons that will come out of this pack as well. And they're not footies cards. I don't know. Maybe this SBC is one that you like. But for me, I'm just kind of like, man, I, I wish we had a little bit even better, like 92 plus EA. Why not 92 plus? Why still 90 plus? Why a one of three? Why not a one of five? Because again, it is August. So I don't know. That one for me is just kind of, it's nice that it's a cheap price, but I can't imagine that the pack weight on that is going to be that amazing either. And it's more just kind of a fun SBC. And at least it's cheap. We'll say it that way, right? Now, speaking of SBCs, fodder is going up because of course, when you have two SBCs like that dropped in one day, that's going to make some fodder prices move slightly. Now, in the early morning hours today on Sunday, I would say there is another small buying opportunity, but you can see this Pareja went from about 8.7K to 9.9, .9, about 10,000 coins. All of the 86s were yesterday, right around the content drop. I think 85s were 7.5K as well. They had a bit of a spike. So your spikes are smaller on the weekends. Ooh, 8.5K for Depay. That was a really good one. Um, obviously, we have weekly rewards. We have tradable supply hitting the market on the weekends. That's why we talk about investing in fodder on the weekends. Prices go higher on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on all of this stuff, most likely. So if you're not involved, 
involved and you want to get involved on some investing investments, watch Squad Battle Rewards this morning. That should bring some tradable supply to the market. And just like you saw yesterday, some of your 86s last night on the video, they were like 9K, I think. Yeah, they were like right around 9,000 coins and they dropped a bit yesterday in the morning to about 85, 8,600. That's an amazing entry point for 86s, especially since we saw those go up so much already. Um, you know, that's a really good spot to be, I think. 84s, 85s, 86s all doing bits on the market. So I would invest there. Um, and then you take a look at the high tier fodder and you notice the price of the Dino SBC, right? This is going to be a really good barometer for the fodder market. Back down to 6 million coins. Look at this. Crazy that a couple hours difference. He goes from 6.6 .6 mil all the way to 5.8 as some of that middle to high tier fodder. Um, not really middle. The middle tier was going up, right? We just looked at that. But the high tier on the fodder actually dipped down a little bit. 94 rated is 54,000 coins. 93 rated are 45K. I'm pretty sure these were all 50K plus um, at one point. Yeah, 53K for Bruno Guimaraes. Back down a little bit now to 45. So a little bit cheaper to get Dino done if you have to buy a few players off of the market because those 92s, 93s, and 94s have dipped down a little bit in value. But really, if you're trying to make coins or even just prepare, the best place, once again, 83s even to 86s, 87s, and maybe even a couple 88s, chuck a couple of those in the club. Those prices will be increasing throughout the rest of this week. And we did have a couple store packs yesterday, guys. Um, I'll say this, right? I know some of you guys right now might be considering a store pack. Whether you're going to open it with coins or FIFA points, I spent, I opened three of the 250k packs in the past two weeks, uh, or sorry, the 400k pack with 250 players. If you're going to open any of these massive store packs, I would just say the best one, in my opinion, value wise, is this one right here the super ultimate pack with 250 gold players, all untradeable, just because it gives you so many players. And if you look at the percentages, too, you have a what is it, a nine point something percent? Yeah, 9.6 percent of a premium footies and a 19 percent of a real footies. Some of these 500k packs, uh, if you look at the odds. You have a basically the same amount of a chance as packing the footies in that 400k pack than you do as this 500k. 18% chance versus 19, but it's 100,000 coins uh, more, and you get less players. 100 rare gold players versus 250. Uh, so definitely go with the 250 one. I think for the value, that is the best door pack that is available right now. The 83 times 100 still has not dropped yet, which to me almost makes me think that might end up being an SBC, guys. And that would be crazy if that were to be dropped either today or tomorrow and Monday or any time as an SBC. That would be absolutely crazy to see that SBC being released there. Now, that's kind of all of yesterday's content. Let's get into the conversation a little bit, right? Because we are now in the third week of footies, right? Team three of footies is out. We got the Neymar, the Jesus, the Alawayrin. We've gone through two full weeks and now we're into the third why is footies not as great as previous years? Kind of the elephant in the room, right? We've been talking about footies content, all of this, that, and the other, watching it drop. Of course, we had some strong feelings early on when footies started that was like, man, is this promo actually not going to be as good as footies of years past because it's just different? And I think there's a couple of reasons why footies just is not hitting different uh, like it has before. First of all, ob the obvious point, Footies cards are in packs, right? I don't remember a footies where the cards were in packs. Footies of old, especially at the very beginning when we were getting excited for footies team one, it was all about, is that actually Ronaldo on the loading screen? And the league said Ronaldo and all that. Ronaldo is still extinct at 15 mil. Before footies started, we thought we were going to get that as an SBC because footies was SBCs and objective promos are cards only from the way that we knew it in the past few years. EA changed it up this year to put cards in packs, and that's why I think a lot of people are disappointed because it just makes it seem like a money grab. And it definitely killed the hype right away to have cards like this in packs and to not have all of them available via SBCs or objective. So that's kind of the biggest thing uh, in terms of a footies cards specifically. Now, I will say with having the cards in packs, we're probably getting more footies cards in total since we still have a lot of SPCs and objectives dropping. So there is kind of a, another side of that as well with all the players we can get right now through objectives. And of course, you've got like the weekend league reward ones that we've had plenty of SPCs. So there is another side of the coin there. But again, Having those cards in packs just makes it feel like another promo, and it makes footies just seem not as exclusive as a promo type as it used to be in the past. And the second thing is the best of cards and batches, batches, right? Batch one and batch two. Um, like, man, why do we not have team of the season cards in packs yet? Yeah, team of the seasons right now are they still like 45k? 
I mean, 45,000 coins, they're about 42K, right? That tradable supply hitting a little bit yesterday as they were not supply or were not in demand as much, right? We had a team of the week requirement uh, in the uh, the icon pick, but there was not a team. This, well, I guess Joe Cole had a team in the season requirement, but that's a player SBC, right? Tots cards are 42k a piece, and that's a problem. Uh, they need to be in packs. Let me just take you guys back to last year. It's not even just with like the fodder Tots cards. It's just with the best of batches in general. This was the loading screen last year for FIFA 22 footies batch number two. We've got a 98 Benzema Cristiano Ronaldo team of the season. Uh, Salah team of the season. We have a couple team of the years in there as well. Neymar, Vinny, Jude Bellingham, and like team of the season cards that are legit and really, really good team of the season players. Think about this year. If we had uh, some of those, you know, players in the game, like ultimate tots cards, if we had uh, Bellingham, if we had Mbappe, Messi, Holland, even just a handful of some of these best of the team of the season cards um, in packs, that would be so amazing. That'd be great. That's kind of what we're asking for. Even though they're not the most meta cards in this game, some of them are still super duper overpowered and super usable at this stage of the game. You just look back to last year and it feels like we're taking a step backwards with what cards we have in packs right now versus what we had in packs last year during batch two. And last year, batch one was only one week. Batch two was two weeks. We just had a batch one with worse cards than last year and it was in packs for two weeks. So that just feels like another step backwards from the footies of old. But guys, there's one real big problem with footies that I'm seeing with all of this kind of combined. EA is just not treating footies like an end game promo. That's the vibe that I'm getting. It does not feel like we're getting the same level of content that we have in previous years because it feels like EA is holding out and just like not giving us all the cards that we could be having right now in the end game. It's like, hey, we're going to withhold a little bit of this hype of content because there's more to come and we have to save a little bit in the tank for what's to come. Man, it is August, okay? Like the Premier League is starting up next week and we've got, you know, still... 97, 96 rated cards. Yeah, we have a couple 99s, but they're not in SBCs. They're not craftable uh, like some of the cards we had, like the 99 Usman Dembele that we had last year, the 99 Varane. I mean, last year, even in early August, we had this 96 Ferlin Mendy, which was a very overpriced SBC. Of course, it did end up dropping down a lot in price, but like, look at that card, man. I mean, yes, we just did have the Lamar objective, which I, mean, I don't think you compare Lamar objective to this footies for Lynn Mendy, but we had this last year in the beginning of, of August. I think it was during week two of footies right now. We're in week three, of course, um, in this year in FIFA 23. And then like this Rafinha card that we had at the very beginning of footies last year, like that was an insane, insane footies card to start things off. And it was such a great value. I think there's just a couple of pieces like that with the way things are going and the, the way the SBCs have been pointed this year. Yeah, we had a great Sonaldo SBC. Yeah, we have had some other great SBCs, especially the cover star icons. That's a positive of footies this year. EA including that in there has been really, really nice. But it just feels like EA is trying to, I don't know, like milk this promo for what it is with cards and packs, milk it and not release the best content that they could formerly of what they would do during footies just so that they can maybe extend the game a little bit longer and keep us maybe just a little bit more excited. We haven't had a transfer, actual transfer player SBC with besides McAllister and Carvalho in a, in a week or two, right? I know we've had some transfers like the Koulibaly, the Ruben Neves. We've had some of those, but it's just not exactly the same um, as it was last year. And it just feels like EA is kind of milking this promo. Um, even with the best of batches, both being for two weeks, these team of the year cards and all the cards we have in packs right now, get used to seeing them and get uh, start, get annoyed with pack, packing foot fantasies because they're in like every other pack for the next two weeks still because it's going to be another 12 days before we get different cards and hopefully team of the season cards in packs. But with cards like the Ronaldo and the Messi and the Neymar and so many of these expensive footies cards, especially the premiums, it just kind of leaves us with a sour taste in our mouth because that is not how footies of old um, worked. And that is not how it went. It was all SBCs and objectives. And that's, again, just making this promo seem a little bit lackluster. So I wanted to have that conversation today. I have hope for better content. I really do, guys. Uh, but knowing what footies has brought before, I wanted to kind of have that conversation today because content yesterday, although it was okay, I guess, with the Joe Cole, like that is a nice card. And with the 90 plus pick being 
decent at least and we do have a ton of SBCs. it is still definitely footies right but it's just not the same i don't know what you guys think down in the comments below like yes we've had good SBCs, but like rodrigo 800k like what did we, did we just look at here with this rafinha 110,000 coins yeah we've had a couple of SBCs that have been super duper cheap like uh the kula bali was maybe one of the better SBCs during this promo for the price that is just because that was a 150,000 coin SBC. a lot of the other SBCs have still been pretty expensive Expensive, right even joe cole 300k kunde 550k harry cool was like 200 i think 300,000 coins as well so it's just not quite the same as years of old but hopefully ea can turn it up a little bit today because still there's cards that they have me wanting to grind for in this game it's not all bad there's still good content that is out we just know there's another level and they haven't gotten to that yet that level yet and we're disappointed and we want it to get to that level now uh today on sunday let's talk about content today because today might be an l day today might be a little bit of an interesting day as well one of our sbcs that actually gives us some hype to actually pack the best footies players that are available yes the ones that are in packs the 93 plus shapeshifter or footies player pick is refreshing today guys so if you need to stock up some fodder make sure you get I would say once again, maybe you have a couple high rated in the club. Make sure you get some 83s, 84s, 85s, maybe some 86s as well, just for a club stock, because this SBC coming back today probably means that that fodder range is going to go up even more. Because again, when this SBC released on Wednesday, the fodder market went boom because you have a chance of packing a footies team one or team two player. Now, Neymar and the guys that are in packs right now, Gabriel Jesus, Alawaren, they're not going to be able to be packed from that player pick. But still, you have the likes of Messi and Ronaldo and plenty of other great footies cards that we will be potentially able to pack from that shapeshifter player pick today. Uh, and then also, you know, Sundays have brought player SBCs. I think it's been both of the last two weeks. We've had a player SBC on Saturday and Sunday. So we had Joe Cole yesterday. Um, I don't know who we had last Sunday, but the Sunday before that, we had St. Juice Day. So keep an eye for a player SBC today, whether it's a premium, non-premium, hero, whoever it could be. Watch out for one of those today. And as well, watch out for more XP or at least opportunity to get XP through the week three objective, the daily bronze and daily silver upgrade are going to be dropping today, which is interesting. They're called daily SBCs. We're used to daily SBCs for like, you know, daily login upgrade or, you know, daily whatever. Um, a daily bronze or silver upgrade SBC, which we all have to do one time to get the XP. I'm really wondering what that is going to allow us to craft. What packs are they going to give back? for that because right now even as it is i know a lot of you guys don't want to spend a ton of time grinding the menus but with the ultimate bronze and silver upgrade that are here it's actually a pretty good craft if you have time and you want to get motivated to grind the menus rinse your club of your bronze and silver cards into these packs um before you know do all the icon bronze and silver squads that you need to do to get those done right so that you're not completely out but uh, those upgrade packs can actually get you gold cards uh, through the ultimate silver upgrade, which you could then rinse into an 80 plus player pick, which you could then get special cards and get fodder to do all the other SBCs. So if you're in the end game, you're like, Nate, I'm just sending my club. One of the biggest tips I can give you right now is do the bronze and silver upgrades and maybe wait until we get those daily upgrades today to see how much better or just to see what the rewards of those SBCs are. Um, and then that could take that kind of like value crafting proposition in this game to a whole nother level. So that's kind of the thing there that I would tell you to watch out for today. It might be a bit of a slower day. I mean, again, player SBC, the refresh of the 93 plus. I'm not entirely sure what else could drop. Again, there's that outside shot for the 83 times 100. That feels more like a Monday type of SBC to me or maybe sometime during the week. But if EA really wanted to make some waves, uh, I mean, guys, we talked about the potential of that being a, a thing is an SBC yesterday. The more that I think about it, you know, it seems wild, but it really could be an SBC that, that is dropped instead of it being in the store. Because usually by the time we get to... Usually by the time we get to Sunday, all the store packs have been released, at least recently. And I think the store is so full now with 400 and 500 K packs and 83 times 100 would just be mental in the store, but it'd be more mental in the SBCs. I'm going to keep grinding through the weekend league. I'm still, still not 100% convinced on Dino, guys. I was reading through some of your comments yesterday. There's people that are doing Dino. There's people that are not doing Dino. Um, I'm leaning towards doing it a little bit right now. But again, I think I might end up waiting until Monday just to see what that 85 times 10 grind looks like because without an 85 times 10 for me i don't know if i'll be able to do it right i need this sbc to get a little bit cheaper so that i can craft it 
each and every day, two different times, or maybe even more than that, and of course, hit some good fodder from it and be able to craft it with other SBCs like player picks and stuff like that. So hopefully EA do some madness today, do the business and drop some Sunday content. We'll be streaming today. That link is down below in the description. I will see you guys in the stream today. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions or thoughts about the footies promo as a whole. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Count. See you guys there. Peace.